So I really love this character. He's like my little baby. Um, when I, I remember when I first saw him come to 3D Life, I like did a little dance. I'm Maria. I am the graphic and user interface designer at Shift Pixie Labs. Specifically, a brand identity designer, and that includes the typography, the marks, the colors, the brand characters. My name is Marlon Pacheco. Technically, I'm a technical artist here, but I do a lot of things besides technical art. I am a 3D generalist. We were tasked with creating a character for a natural cuisine concept. We wanted him to be very vibrant and high energy and have a very young, carefree attitude. Once I have all of those characteristics lined up, I start sketching. We decided to make him a skateboarder because what kind of nacho chip would go down a half pipe and be like, if I fall, I break. And I will usually do a couple really rough thumbnails. And once I get a thumbnail that, I, that draws me in, I start developing that a little farther, start thinking about what pose that character is gonna be in. So for this specific character, the pose that I first landed on was him doing a little ollie on his skateboard, like throwing up a rock on sign with like his little stunner shades. And after that, I start refining that pose even more. When I get the, the concept art from Rhea, the character itself is a certain look, you know, he's a skater, he's young, and, and my job is to make sure that not only do I build it in geometry, is that I capture that essence, and that is a challenging part. I love working with Marlin. I will do a turnaround, so what that is, is a front shot of the character, a side shot, and a back shot. That way, he's got an idea of what that character needs to look, or, look like all the way turned around. And then I'll hand that off to him as well as that hero pose because that also gives him an idea of what that character moves like. Um, and that's also gonna inform all of the animation process that he's gonna have to do. In order to be able to capture the essence of this character, I like to start in ZBrush with the digital ball of clay. I like to pull and stretch, build the character and be able to capture the essence of the character and show it to the, to the digital artist to get approval. So another one of the challenges that we ran into was making sure that his hair sticks out from the rest of his body enough when you see him from far away because they're both shades of yellow. So how do we make that contrast visible enough? So we went back and forth with making sure that the cheese was really smooth and shiny and played with all of the hues to make sure that they had enough of a difference that you could clearly tell that they were made of a different substance. Accessories like glasses would be a challenge because we have to decide if the glasses will be moving, if they will be coming off his face. If they come off his face, that means we will need to build eyeballs. My favorite part of the creative process is definitely that very beginning stage where you've got all of the possibilities at your fingertips and you gotta make all of these constraints for yourself so that you can start creating from there. At the end, when it's over, I feel an attachment to it because I spent time with it. And of course, with the designer and everybody else involved, we're sharing this character. They're all like my little babies, especially this one. This is the first one that we've made at the Pixie Labs. And so this is like our firstborn son. It's almost like we're all parents. You know, and we're taking care of it, and then we let it go into the world, go into your game, and perform, and then we're proud.